fantastictv.com. What if everybody did it? I was feeling oh so fancy in my brand new pair of shoes. Then my auntie had just bought me such a lovely shade of blue. Then suddenly it happened like it happened twice before. Something pink and sticky made my shoe stick to the floor. A piece of gum had carelessly been tossed into the street. The street's not meant for gum, it's meant for bicycles and feet. And now you might be thinking it was just one little piece. But there's a bigger problem here that I fear just may increase. If everybody did it, there'd be gum everywhere. We'd be sticking to each other. There'd be gum in our hair. There are billions of people that stick for each one would be billions of chewed up pink sticky gum. Oh, sure wouldn't be fun if everybody did it. What if everybody did it? If we threw our trash on the ground, there'd be no room to run and play. The trash will be piled in mounds. The air would be smelly and filled with flies. Every day the garbage would double in size. Using Earth as a dumpster just wouldn't be wise. What if everybody did it? Oh, what if everybody did it? Da 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 da. Ow! What if everybody picked up the litter that they found? And threw it in the garbage instead of throwing it on the ground. What if everyone recycled their paper, glass, and cans? We each could make a difference. Dump powers in our hands. What if everybody planted a tiny little seed? Think of all the beautiful flowers, plants, and trees. What if everybody did it? Oh, what if everybody did it? What if everybody put their trash in the bin? The earth will be fine and clean. We know where our trash should go, but after we put them in the bin, where do they go? Would you know? This is a trash can in Ika. It has different colors for different kinds of trash. Now this is the trash in our classroom during recess. Let's find out where these trash go. After throwing our trash in these bins, they are sent to MRF. He is Kuya Robert. He is in charge of the MRF. MRF means Materials Recovery Facility. This is where they sort the trash into four categories. Paper cartons, pet bottles, metal, and sebak plastic. The first one is the paper cartons. These are hard paper that are thick enough to be used again. Second is the pet bottles. These are different kinds of plastic bottles. Next is metal. These can come from old furniture or materials in the school. Lastly, the sebak plastic. These can come from old materials like plastic chair or table. All of these four categories of trash can be reused or recycled. And because of this, MRF sells these so others may use it or turn it into something useful again. How about the other trash that cannot be reused nor recycled? They are placed in a bag to be picked up by the garbage truck once a week. But wait! There is one more area in MRF. This is the sorting area. This is where Queer Robert sorts the trash into the different categories. When we segregate the trash, Kuya Robert just places the trash bag in the right area. But when we do not segregate, he has to open each bag and put each trash in the right place. That will take a long time for him to finish. That's why it is best that we segregate and throw our trash in the right bin. Let's go back to the pictures of the trash bins in Ika. Which one do you think shows segregation of trash? How about you? Are you ready to segregate?